Welcome back dear learners to the second part of the video on the unit decision making. So in the first part of the video we discuss about the meaning of decisions and decision making. Also we discuss about the different types of decisions and the process of decision making. So in this part of video we will discuss about uh, the individual and group decision making and also we will discuss about the technique of decision making. So let us now discuss the approaches to decision making uh, and uh, we all know that an organization is a group of people working together to achieve certain objectives. This group of people consists of superiors and subordinates occupying different positions in the organization. They have their respective duties and responsibilities depending on the position of their jobs in the organization. In their respective capacities, they make some decisions keeping in mind the organizational objectives or goals. So as a decision maker, the manager may himself or herself make some decisions or he or she can ask uh, their subordinates to participate in the decision making process. When the manager makes the decision individually, it is known as individual decision and on the other hand, when the manager makes the decisions uh, with the help of his or her peers or superiors or subordinates in making a decision as a group, it is known as group decision. So let us discuss about the factors that help in the analysis of the decision situations. First is the type of problem. If the problem can be solved by a specific policy uh, laid down by the organization, then the individual decision making will serve the purpose and uh, better than the group decision making. And therefore, for a program decision, the manager uh, can resort to individual decision making. On the other hand, if the problem requires different qualities to find out the most effective solution, the manager can go for group decision making. Then comes the time factor. The time factor for making a decision also determines whether the manager should go for uh, an individual or a group decision making. If sufficient time is available for making the decision, group decision making can be a better option than individual decision making. Then the other factor may be the organizational climate. Individual decision making or group decision making is also determined by the organizational climate. Group decision making is encouraged in organizations which follow participative culture. On the other hand, if the organization culture is characterized by uh, autocracy, the manager prefers individual decision making. Then uh, we'll discuss about the legal conditions. So it also determines the individual decision making or group decision making. So these are few factors uh, that are helpful in analyzing the decision making. So let us now discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of group decisions and individual decisions. So in this video, you can see that the advantages and disadvantages of both the decisions that is group and individuals are given. So in the group decisions, uh, the advantages maybe the group can gather more information, the group can generate more alternatives, then implementation of the decision becomes easy in the group decisions, then subordinates can develop decision making quality. Then in, in individual decisions, the advantages may be uh, it consumes less time, then an experienced decision maker can make quality decisions, then individual decisions save time of other members of the organization also and in times of emergency, individual decisions serve the best purpose. So um, these are some of the advantages I have discussed about the group decisions and the individual decisions. Let us now discuss about the quantitative techniques and methods of decision making. So after discussing the advantages and disadvantages, now let us discuss about the techniques. So here you can see that uh, the techniques of decision making, the first is the operation research or OR. Operation research technique are used for decision making where the different elements of the problem can be expressed in numerical terms and the uh, relationship among these elements are studied and decisions is or uh, are taken after studying the relationships. And operation research techniques are used in the areas of production, material handling, then material control, then distribution of products and etc. Then the next technique would be the decision tree. 
It is a graphical method of taking decision. Those problems which need to be solved step by step uh, can be taken with the help of a decision tree. This technique is used where the results of different steps are interdependent. That is the second step depends on the result of the first step. The third step depends on the result of the second step and etc. And it helps the manager in finding out the possible alternatives and he or she can concentrate on the critical factor of the problem. Then the next is the linear programming. It is a mathematical technique of decision making where the manager faces the problem of allocation of scarce resources. Linear programming technique can be used to find out the best possible strategy for solving the uh, problem of resource allocation. Now let us discuss some of the methods that are used for decision, group decision making. The first would be brainstorming method. And under this method, the problem at hand is presented group uh, before a group. And the group members are asked to con contribute um, possible ideas for the solution of the problem. Then the nominal uh, group method. And under this method, the group leader outlines the problem before the group. And the members are asked to write down their ideas. Then they present, that is the group members, present their ideas and the group discussions takes place. And uh, then the group members are then uh, asked to rank the ideas and the idea which receives the highest ranking is selected as a solution of the problem. Then let us now discuss about the Delphi method. So uh, the first step of the Delphi method is to prepare a questionnaire. And uh, the second step, the questionnaire is circulated among the group members and they are asked to fill in the questionnaire as a response to the problem at hand. And in the third step, the, response, uh, the responses are compiled and fourthly, they are sent to the all group members and they are asked to develop new ideas after uh, studying the responses of all the other group members. The last two steps are repeated until a consensus is re uh, reached uh, on the best solution for the problem. So an important feature of this method is that without any face-to-face -face contact among the group members, the decisions can be taken. So dear learners, with this we have come to the end of this video uh, unit that is on decision making and thank you so much for watching this video.